Solving polynomials. The polynomial solution can be explained in two different ways. Solving linear polynomials and solving quadratic polynomials. Solving linear polynomials. Question number 2. Solve 3x minus 9. First, make the equation as 0. So, 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. Implies 3x is equal to 9. Implies x is equal to 3. Thus, the solution of 3x minus 9 is x is equal to 3. Solving quadratic polynomial. Question number 3. Solve 3x square minus 6x plus x cube minus 18. First, arrange the polynomial in the descending order of degree and equate to 0. Implies x cube plus 3x square minus 6x minus 18 is equal to 0. Now, take the common terms. x square into x plus 3 minus 6 into x plus 3 is equal to 0, which implies x square minus 6 into x plus 3 is equal to 0. Implies x square minus 6 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Implies x square is equal to 6 or x is equal to root 6 and x is equal to minus 3. So the solutions will be x is equal to minus 3 and x square is equal to 6 or x is equal to root 6. Next, Zeros of a polynomial. Consider the polynomial p of x is equal to 5x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2. If we replace x by 1 everywhere in p of x, we get p of 1 is equal to 5 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 minus 2. Therefore, the answer is 4. Therefore, p of 1 is 4. So, we say that the value of p of x at x is equal to 1 is 4. Similarly, p of 0 is equal to 5 into 0 cube minus 2 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 minus 2. Answer is minus 2. Question number 4. Find the value of p of x is equal to 5x square minus 3x plus 7 at x is equal to 1. Put x is equal to 1 in p of x. Therefore, p of 1 is equal to 5 into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 7. Therefore, the answer is 9. Therefore, the value of p of x at x is equal to 1 is 9. Question number 5. Find the value of q of y is equal to 3y square minus 4y plus root of 11 at y is equal to 2. Put y is equal to 2 in q of y. Therefore, q of 2 is equal to 3 into 2 q minus 4 into 2 plus root of 11 is equal to 16 plus root of 11. Therefore, the value of q of y at y is equal to 2 is 16 plus root of 11. Question number 6. Find the value of p of t is equal to 4t raised to 4 plus 5t cube minus t square plus 6 at t is equal to a. Put t is equal to a in p of t. p of a is equal to 4 into a raised to 4 plus 5 into a cube minus a square plus 6 is equal to 4a raised to 4 plus 5a cube minus a square plus 6. Therefore, the value of p of t at t is equal to a is 4a raised to 4 plus 5a cube minus a square plus 6. Question number 7. Check whether minus 2 and 2 are zeros of the polynomial x plus 2. Let p of x is equal to x plus 2. Then p of 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. P of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial x plus 2. But 2 is not. Question number 8. Find a 0 of the polynomial P of x is equal to 2x plus 1. 
finding a zero of p of x is the same as solving the equation p of x is equal to zero. 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 implies 2x is equal to minus 1 implies x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Therefore, minus 1 by 2 is a 0 of the polynomial 2x plus 1. Reminder theorem. Let p of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and let a be any real number. If p of x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p of a. Question number 9. Find the remainder when x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1. Here, p of x is equal to x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1. And the 0 of x minus 1 is 1. So, P of 1 is equal to 1 raised to 4 plus 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So by the remainder theorem, 2 is the remainder when x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1. Question number 10. Check whether the polynomial q of t is equal to 4t cube plus 4t square minus t minus 1 is a multiple of 2t plus 1. As you know, q of t will be a multiple of 2t plus 1 only. That is, 2t plus 1 divides q of t leaving remainder 0. Now taking 2t plus 1 is equal to 0, we get t is equal to minus 1 by 2. Also, q of minus 1 by 2 is equal to 4 into minus 1 by 2 the whole cube plus 4 into minus 1 by 2 the whole square minus minus 1 by 2 minus 1. The answer is 0. So the remainder obtained on dividing q of t by 2t plus 1 is 0. So 2t plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial q of t that is q of t is a multiple of 2t plus 1.